The Head Royce Jayhawks looking for a three-peat taking on St. Joe's. Early on runner at first for Head Royce. Ball in the dirt, but pilot catcher Mark Venturini with a strong throw to second for the out. Still no score, bottom three as Ian Peters reaches out and takes this one deep to right. It's going to the wall, and Peters is headed for second. Look at the big man move, and he is safe with a dive at second. Later same inning, Cole Bamberger with a clutch bomb to the gap in left center. The pinch runner Kyle Russell comes in to score. one nothing Jayhawks. It's a triple for Bamberger. St. Joe's now trying to even it up. One out, two strikes. The bunt is missed for strike three, and the runner is tagged out there by catcher C.J. Novogratich, and it's an inning-ending double play. Still one nothing. bottom four, and Sammy Toucan takes this one to left center. When it gets by the fielder, Sammy's going to run. Scoring first is Novogratich, and coach Mike Top says run home, Sammy, and he does. Toucan scores, and Head Royce has a 3 to nothing lead. Meantime, junior ace Nico Horner was awesome on the mound for the Hawks, getting one of his nine Ks in the game right there. And then at the plate, the talented junior rips this one high to right, and with the win, this is trouble. The ball drops Ben Hoaxie, he scores and Head Royce leads it four to nothing. One more for the Hawks runner at third for Bamberger who does his job. The sack fly plates Tuke Baker and it's a five nothing win for Head Royce as the boys celebrate their third straight NCS title. After the game, we talked with the Jayhawks about their championship season. And here they are, the newly crowned NCS D5 champs, the Head Royce Jayhawks. Congratulations, guys! Right here with me, starting pitcher Nico Horner. Nico is a junior on this team. Nico, great job on the mound today. Six full innings, nine strikeouts, just two hits. What was it like out there on the mound in a big game like this? Oh, it's crazy. I mean, I closed out the first one we got two years ago here on the same field. And I got to start this one and hand it off to my good friend and teammate for three years, Ian Peters, who closed out his last high school game with a win. There we go. Congratulations. Nice job. Appreciate right here in the middle, Reed Gibbs, a junior shortstop on this team. Both of you guys coming back next year. What, is, uh, what does it mean to have this uh, title for the seniors? Um, well, you know, I just love my seniors. You know, we were doing it for the seniors this whole this whole tournament, and we have four great seniors. You know, they're all really funny guys and great to be around, and it's going to be hard to it's hard to lose them. All right, here he is, Ian Peters, right here. Close out the game, first baseman. Ian, we're going to show the dive into second base in slow motion. It was it was a beautiful it was a beautiful thing. Talk about getting a big hit in a big game like this in your senior year. I mean, every time you come up to the plate, you want to do something to help your team out, and that's all I was thinking. I'm not the fastest guy, but I thought I had a chance to get in there, and I uh, just went for it, and I'm happy I did. That was beautiful. Talk about Mike Taups and the coaching staff on this team. What do the coaches bring to this program? The coaches, I've been playing sports for a long time, and I've, the coaches here are incredible. Uh, nothing but support. Uh, they care about all these guys, and they, they're out here because they want to give – a great season and provide a great opportunity to play for these young kids and I mean we we're incredibly appreciative to everything they do. All right, nicely said. Let's hear it. The NCS D5 champs, the Head Royce Jayhawks. Congratulations guys. <laughs>